An aortic aneurysm is a co fairly common condition uh, whereby the aorta uh, dilates, forms a bulge, and that wall is thinner and weaker, and the main risk is that that portion of the aorta could then rupture, and that's a ruptured aneurysm. The problem with that is that once an aneurysm ruptures, it's, it's commonly a lethal problem. Our main focus is to try to identify people that are at risk for this early on, identify people who have aneurysms, uh, follow them closely to decide at what point there might be the potential for this kind of complication so that they get treated ahead of time and therefore that they are not allowed to get to the point where they actually have this bleeding complication. We'd like to identify the patients who are at the higher risk for having an aneurysm and then we can screen and see if they have an aneurysm. Risk factors for having an aneurysm would be having vascular disease of any kind, particularly atherosclerotic vascular disease. And other risk factors for vascular disease are high blood pressure, diabetes. It's more common with uh, advanced age and aneurysms are actually more common and uh, slightly more common in men than in women. There also may be a genetic component, so if you have a family history of an aortic aneurysm in some of your relatives, it may be important to screen uh, uh, yourself for, or be screened for an aneurysm. Anyone who has an aneurysm diagnosed uh, is to be sure that other blood relatives uh, that are over the age of 50 should just empirically be screened to be sure they don't show a similar tendency to develop an aneurysm. We would generally recommend that patients who have risk factors for vascular disease who are age 65 or more should be screened for an aortic aneurysm. The screening is quite simple. It's a, uh, a painless, non-invasive test, usually an abdominal ultrasound, uh, that can quickly be done to determine whether or not you have an aneurysm. If there is a family history or a strong family history of aneurysms, then generally we would screen patients earlier on at a younger age, uh, usually by age 55. To reduce your risk of having an aneurysm, or if you have an aneurysm to prevent that aneurysm from growing, it would be taking care of your vascular disease risk factors. If you smoke, uh, uh, stopping smoking is of paramount importance. Um, uh, controlling blood pressure, treating diabetes, controlling cholesterol levels, all the things that are associated with, uh, with vascular disease. Here at New York Presbyterian Hospital, we have all the options available to us to treat aortic aneurysms in patients with aneurysms effectively. We have the uh, state-of-the-art techniques in the endovascular surgery, we have expertise in all the traditional open surgical techniques, and we have all the imaging uh, modalities available that can be used for surveillance, treatment, and also post-operative care of patients who have been treated for aneurysms. Depending on the location of your aneurysm, the size and shape and configuration of the aneurysm and the aorta and the branches off of the aorta around it will determine what type of treatment is best for you, whether it's an open surgical treatment or the newer uh, endovascular treatment options. The benefit of the endovascular treatment option is that it avoids a major surgical incision into the abdomen or chest. Uh, the technique involves threading small tubes or catheters into an artery, usually at the level of the groin, and then using state-of-the-art imaging guidance to advance uh, those devices into the aorta in the region of the aneurysm, and then we introduce a stent graft, which essentially relines the inside of the aorta, giving it uh, a more normal lining and preventing any flow of blood or transmission of pressure into the aneurysm itself. That prevents risk of rupture of the aneurysm.